Hi, it's Linda again from Cause and Effect Dog Training. Today with video six, we're covering grooming and handling. This is a topic that a lot of puppy owners tend to overlook and it is so, so important. It makes, for one, your groomer or your vet's life so much easier. Your puppy needs to get used to being handled. So right from the start, you're touching your dog's ears, putting it on the in, inside of his ear, getting him used to that sound and that movement in his ear. You might lift his lips, look at his teeth, get him used to that sort of thing. Feet are a big one. A lot of dogs don't like their nails being cut. So start with your puppy by touching his paws, putting your fingers between his toes, touching his nails, getting him used to handling all over. I also recommend with puppies that you do what I call a little bit of inappropriate handling. So puppies aren't always and dogs aren't always going to be handled with someone who is very soft and gentle. Sometimes it might be someone who is a little bit rougher. Children also do that. So you want your puppy to have a positive association for a little bit of rougher sort of handling. I'm not talking about anything that's going to cause pain, but just something that's not so soft and gentle so that he's got used to that whole thing. Then we need to look at the grooming requirements. So if you have a dog who needs regular grooming, you need to get him used to the grooming tools. So regular combing, brushing, as well as, you know, the things that I've spoken about with, with claws and things like that. You also need to get them used to bathing. And this is probably for every dog needs to get used to a bath. The way we do that is again, very positively and very gently. With me, when I'm bathing a puppy, I start with the puppy in a bath, I might just hold him fairly firmly. I'm talking to him, giving him a lot of feedback that he's okay, things are going okay. And I'll start with the water on a very low pressure and just start wetting him just down near his tail. And as he can cope with that, then I will gently move that up to the point where he's okay with being sprayed with the water all over. One of the main points to take home about this is if your puppy is a little bit concerned and is still playing up, you don't put the puppy down until he's used to that whole spraying sequence. So even if it means that you only get the tail wet, but he's okay with that, that's okay, he can go. And then the next time you do it, you might be able to work up a little bit closer. With oodle breeds and dogs who need that regular grooming, we're then looking at getting them used to blowers as well. So those big, hair blowers that dry the dog off really quickly. And again, that's done very gently. It's done very slowly. You're building up a positive association to that happening as well. Handling a puppy needs to be done every day. If you can incorporate it into your everyday life, so it's not just, okay, today we're gonna to do training, but every time you touch your puppy, you're touching its ears, you might just lift up its lip. You might just pick up its paw. So it's, it's incorporated into every day, so it's nothing stressful for your puppy when he does have to have that grooming. 